So the Hispanic waiter of a wait staff crew of many waitresses and a good live band who was hanging out with a bulletproof vest wearing security guard standing in the lobby who was following me around the restaurant a little bit until I found a seat making sure my lack of Espanol fluency didn't affect my ability to find the right table or act the right way or even my ability to order I suppose but they're hanging out in the lobby while I'm eating tortilla chips and everyone expressed like an extreme lack of desire in accommodating my limited Espanol speaking ability or what they might know of English I was unable to joke around or communicate with anybody effectively sitting there eating tortilla chips minding my own business while laundry's getting done just kind of wasting time near the laundromat the guy the waiter who stood eye to eye with me who was about a half head shorter of the security guard who seemed like a complete rough areas of Mexico goon <laughs> thug kind of character this waiter who had been joking around with him, talking to him, was staring out of a narrow window. The only, if you were to look through it from his side, from his side of the divider wall between the restaurant lobby and the bar, I was sitting on the back, on the back stools, or the back um, benches near the bar, where a bunch of gentlemen in cowboy hats were drinking at the bar. Live band was playing off in the background, as previously said. He's staring at me through this narrow window, like a half a foot wide window. He only had me to look at. There was no other scenery. There was a bar full of dudes talking real loud and some hot waitresses walking around. Great racks. <laughs> there's a band playing. And there's me eating my tortilla chips, just trying to get my one good meal of the day in. While I'm getting laundry done. And I said. Uh, que tu ves? You know, what are you looking at? Um, walked up to him. And he looked like he didn't want to make eye contact with me. I was, after he'd been staring at me for like five minutes. While I was eating tortilla chips. I'd look away and look back. He's still looking at me. I uh, confronted him. I say. Que es tu problema? And he said. Mm. She just kind of shakes his head like no problem. Like he, It was just a sport to, to watch the only white guy in the restaurant eat. Fuck him. And fuck him for thinking less of me for being white or the sweater I was wearing. Because I was kind of in my, my laundry gear. I did stand out a little bit. Nonetheless, just a guy eating. Guy trying to enjoy a meal. He had no right to stare at me. To try to make me feel out of place when I obviously already was out of place. When I was uh, in a unaccommodating setting. As racism typically works less than favorably of... Uh, those who are white, as white people, are more accepting. Just um, as as uh, discrimination is discredited, reverse discrimination or reverse racism is more accepted, and give people an inch and people take a mile. Women are supposed to be greedy because they're nest makers, and yeah. More, darker skinned people I suppose like Africans are more tribal if you're not in their crew if you're not in their tribe they're going to look for ways to nudge you out of work when you're just there to work you're not there trying to make friends you're not there trying to be part of a social club they don't get that they're remaking a tribe Mexicans are the same way especially in California which I've learned to accept is a mostly Mexican run state to where East is white exclusive enough in a lot of ways, or white sensibilities, European English uh, sensibilities accommodating more so than the Southwest is of a uh, Latin desert variety culture. <laughs>